Hey what's going on YouTube this is Dottie with Ignite Cinemas and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a really awesome stutter effect using absolutely no plugins in Final Cut Pro 10. Let's get it! Welcome back to the channel everyone and if you are new here please consider subscribing as every week I upload new videos on Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials, gear reviews, and tips for filmmakers. This week I wanted to show you guys a super awesome stutter effect that you can be using in your video projects and the content you produce and you don't need no plugins. It's super simple and hopefully this could add some value. In this scene here, I was doing an orbit around a vehicle, one of my clients, shouts out to Mid-Atlantic Communications in Fredericksburg, Virginia. And I was using a Ronin S with a GH5 to get some overlay of some vehicles that they installed. You're going to want to have your scene in the timeline. And we're going to hit the B, the blade tool on our keyboard. And we are going to drag it to where we want to stop and pick back up. I see people in the background, so I'll probably pick it up right here. And then we hit the blade tool, and we're going to highlight it with our mouse, click it, and hit Command R, and that's going to give us a retime bar above. Then we're going to zoom in. I use Command and the plus sign to zoom in. And we're going to start where we bladed it, and we're going to go about three frames to the right using. The right arrow on the keyboard so one two three I'm zooming a little bit more okay now that we have that we come back over here to end and we're gonna drag it we're gonna drag it all the way till that cursor is I'm zooming a little bit more by hitting, hitting command plus sign and I'm gonna select this scene and I'm gonna hold option on the keyboard and drag up with my mouse or you can do command C command V to copy paste but I like doing the drag method and I'm gonna do it about two times and what we're gonna have here you see that little stutter effect pretty cool and then you we could finish it out chop the blade there I'm gonna go to about right here again the same thing command R to retime zoom in one two three Zoom out real quick, bring it in, hold the option, drag up, option drag up for about two times. Just like that, and it looks pretty cool. And if you want to add more spice, we can add a cross dissolve to the scenes. Let's say I want to do it right here. Now sometimes it might ask, you know, you might get this pop up. We're going to create it anyways. Spice it up, get creative with it, ignite that creativity. The next scene I'm, I'm going to use is actually a cool drone shot that we did for our pals at Rocket Nissan of Stafford. And this was a great shot filmed by my drone operator, Steve. What up, Scuba Steve? Again, the same process, and this works for drone footage as well. I want to let that be known. So we're going to skim through, and I'm about, I'm going to start it right here. So again, hit the B on your keyboard to blade it. Go through. And I think we're going to stop right about here before it gets on the roof. Select it. Command R. Come here. Then we can count one, two, three. We've got the three frames and we're going to retime it. Drag this down. Select it. Option. Pull up on the mouse. Pull up on the mouse. Basically a copy paste. And now that we have that, but this time I want to do something different. I want to show you a little, a little, a little cheat code real quick. So I'm going to copy it and paste it again. All right. I'm going to add this here. Now what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to drag it on top, kind of in between the both of these copies we have here. So I dragged it on top and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the clip on top. I'm going to come over here to the right. And we're gonna go to, and we're gonna knock down the opacity. So I'm gonna knock this down like 50, 55 or so. And check this effect out. Ooh, you see that? So subtle. And voila, you have an awesome stutter effect with no plugins needed. You can add this to any type of video to spice it up. I know during these quarantine and chill times, you might have some footage laying around. Get crafty with it, create some new things. 
and let the creativity ignite your soul. If you guys enjoyed this video, please smash that like button for me right now. And if you want to see more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials as well as gear reviews and tips for filmmakers, hit that red button, subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video, and as always, don't forget to ignite. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.